What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectibles. Coming at you today with another statue review. Today we're going to do a retro review. We're going to look at a statue that has been out for about eight years now. This is the uh, Kotobukiya Spider-Man Fine Art Statue, uh, Spider-Man Unleashed, um, one six scale statue. Uh, again, they released this in 2012 and um, here we are taking a look at it today. Uh, I just want to go back into my collection and uh, look at some older pieces that uh, there may not be a ton of YouTube uh, reviews out there on. Um, you know, every now and then, um, if you're like me as a collector, you go back and you want to try to find something that, uh, you know, is no longer in production, no longer really available. Your only option is eBay. And obviously we all run to YouTube to try to find those reviews to check out. So just want to throw up a review of this one as this one of my favorite statues in my collection. I think it does a great job uh, of presenting Spider-Man. So taking a quick look at the box, uh, we got the front of the box here, just a couple product images uh, of the actual statue. Flipping around to the back side of the box, uh, you've got a real classy uh, look to the box that uh, Kota Bukia did with the fine art statues. It's a white box with uh, just your verbiage and your titles there for the statue. Now, this statue uh, was sculpted by the amazing Eric Sosa. Uh, so that's one of the reasons that very few flaws you can find in this statue is uh, based on who they were actually um, using to do the sculpt on it. Uh, as we go ahead and kind of start looking at the statue itself, uh, you can see that Spider-Man does have a uh, kind of a sheen uh, to his paint job. It's kind of a shine. Not... I would say almost a metallic uh, paint job there on him, but it looks really good. It's uh, it's obviously it's it's shining a little more in my lighting here um, than it does typically sitting on the shelf, uh, but it looks really 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 well done. Uh, they actually sculpted in uh, all the lines to uh, his actual um, webbing on his suit, so that's a really nice detail. Those are not just painted lines; those are sculpted in. They have the texture of the lines if you fill on them. Uh, he is a one six scale uh, figure. So uh, we're looking at somewhere around the 16 inch uh, tall, uh, about to the peak of his arm here. Uh, you're looking at about 16 inches. Uh, Spider-Man himself uh, is in that one six scale and he looks really good alongside other one six scale statues. Um, we can see here that he does have this bendy wire webbing. So this has a very Todd McFarlane-ish uh, look to it, the webbing uh, that they've created here. It is all bendy wire, so you're able to move and kind of pose that a little bit. Um, even Spider-Man himself has that Todd McFarlane uh, style look to him uh, with the big eyes on his, uh, you know, for his suit. As we continue down the statue, you kind of get into this marble, uh, almost marble-like, um, you know, it looks like something maybe you would find on just an old building. Uh, it kind of has, you know, almost like a lion sculpt here. Um, you know, the sculpt of, you know, what would look kind of like an older lady here. Has a real nice wash on it to kind of give it a, Kind of an older rustic look um, so real nice then it comes down to just a flat uh, black base here now one neat thing as well about this statue uh, it is uh, can be combined with the Venom Kota Bukia fine art statue uh, I think it's Venom Unbound statue uh, he has the same type of rock uh, for his base uh, very similar to what Spider-Man has. And then uh, they ended up coming out with a third, which was a Carnage that has a very similar rock base style to it as well. So I'll try to get both of those on my table as well here toward the end of the video uh, and take a look at how they all look together. Um, but yeah, Spider-Man looks amazing. I, I really, really like this statue. Uh, it is one of my favorites. That's why I just wanted to kind of throw up a quick review of it. Um, let you guys take a look at it. So we'll go ahead and try to grab our Venom and 
carnage and see if we can fit them all here on the table. All right, so check these three out. That looks amazing together. Uh, you can see where Kotobukiya uh, kind of stuck with that same style base, the black base. Uh, they also stuck with that same uh, rock look. Uh, the rock even has kind of some of the same brown shading uh, that Spider-Man had there. So I think uh, all intentions when they made these were for them to be displayed together. Uh, so very nice looking size and scale, the proportions all look really good. Not much more you can say there. Venom statue looks fantastic. Carnage as well. So if you're looking for statues that, uh, you know, aren't necessarily available to purchase anymore outside of, you know, going to an eBay or a Macari, um, you know, these would be some good ones if you're a Spider-Man fan. Excellent statues that Cody Bakia did. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Feel free to put any comments down below. Um, what you think of these? Uh, do you have them? Would you be interested in getting them? I always enjoy hearing your guys' comments. Until next time, hope everybody stays safe and healthy.